Well, hello again from Kingston. I'm on the site of the Homes for Heroes Foundation Canada's Veterans Village, where the foundation is very shortly to take possession of the village and not long after that to fill it with worthy veterans. I'm going to catch you up on some of the things that led to these days and look at a few of the developments that have occurred in January 2024. Thanks for watching and remember you can donate to the Homes for Heroes Foundation Canada by uh, clicking on the link in the description below the video. A little over four months ago, the majority of the 20 homes had still to arrive. But as roofing was done on the early arrivals, the remainder arrived thick and fast. As final roofing materials were put in place, forms for the concrete sidewalks began to appear, and a car park took shape. Concrete work progressed quickly. This was the scene in early November, and the time quickly arrived to connect the village to existing utilities. Notably, before Remembrance Day, and by the time concrete was poured in front of the resources building, a flagpole had appeared. In early December, the last roofing work was being done, and the car park had been paved. When the first early snow arrived, the bocce ball courts were being completed and stairways, steps and railings were being placed. Fencing would quickly follow. Almost inevitably, there was more snow for some of the final works. Equally inevitably, there were a few last-minute infrastructure modifications. Before Christmas, signage, plaques and other features had appeared in the village. Producing the wonderful results you can see in this sequence. When the snow returned in January, only minor works like the positioning of sign bases had to be addressed. I'm sure that everyone will join me in appreciating the wonderful work the Foundation and everybody else involved has done in creating this community. And we all look forward to seeing its future residents thrive. Thanks for watching.